morning everyone um just a quick do update on the uh Abigali trip all went well we had uh, a nice run we went to pick up uh, another vehicle of course um not uh, a a vehicle with issues i think that's i think they're right well, it advertised with a issue and got more than a issue. But, uh, yeah, went well. Went in the, uh, my beautiful wife's uh, uh, Freelander. Because she called Sam, the, um, the wife, that is. The car's called uh, Vera. For a wonder why she called, called it Vera. Well, there's a... And a YouTuber we watch, YouTubers we watch called Land Rover Time. Christi, Christian and Veer, two Germans. LR Time is their YouTube channel. Very entertaining, worth a watch. And Sam's named the car after his wife, Veer. So not after the um, English detective lady. That's, uh, yeah, that's something different. So yeah, we went to um, <clears throat> went from England to Wales to meet a Scot, <clears throat> and that's where the uh, the, the uh, confusion started. So we get we get there all the way to Abergelly in North Wales, and um, meets up with a Scot, and the Scot is not a Scot; he's an Englishman living in Wales called Scott. So that was uh, a good start. So we went spent a good five minutes walking around the vehicle, which I'm sat in now. And you can tell it's a, uh, what it is, it's um, a leather clad, leather and, is it an, anyway, leather and suede effect interior with a removable hard top and glass T tops. So for any of you Japanese, it's not an MR2 or a 280Z, it's, uh, no, it's not one of them. And any Americans out there, no, not a Transo either. But it does say Sport on the side. So it is the sporty model on its 17-inch alloy wheels. Yeah, it's another Freelander. Hence the um, issues. So... Advertised as having a uh, clutch issue. Now Scott from England, living in Wales, had uh, had had this car a few years. So he, over them in them years, he's had it. He's put a new clutch in it, but coming on from work, he had a clutch failure. But not. It was a hydraulic issue. So he bought a new uh, master cylinder, fitted it could not get it to connect up to the slave cylinder on the clutch. Now, for any of you Americans out there, that's a device that you have if you don't have a mobility scooter or a golf buggy. It, may, it, it helps you change gears. So this hydraulic issue. He put the new master cylinder in and it was uh, the pedal was rock solid, couldn't get it to connect up. And it's a bit like a um, a bayonet fitting, I will say. So a bit like you'd have on an airline, or and I don't mean like a Ryanair. I'm on about um, air. Anyway, so I did the uh, the other thing about and stuck my finger in the end of the hole that uh, that showed there was um, there was something sharp in it. It's got like a little, it's got like a little grippy thing inside that the male part pushes into, and the grippy thing grips it. A bit like um carpet gripper. So yeah, if you've ever uh, ever put your hand on that, one you can push your hand one way, but not the other, and otherwise it grabs you. Ideal for uh, stopping your neighbours looking over the fence if you nail a bit of that to the top. But anyway, I don't think. So, anyway, I just messed about with it. 
But what it did come with, the car, he bought a brand new slave cylinder. So I'll, um, oh, I haven't said what it is. Have I said what it is? Oh, it's a Freelander. So hence, issues, not issue. So usual, um, usual things, clutch to start with. And um, no drive to the rear wheels. So not four wheel drive. Prop being removed. Rear drive shafts have been removed as well. Um, so yeah, that's got to be dealt with. But uh, got a very nice interior, which you're going to get. All the seats are going to get pulled out, put into Sam's, because I don't need all these seats. I need it as a van. So uh, yeah, I'll sh show you around. Mm. No, not that, but that. Right, so, yeah. Come on, by the way. So, yeah, leather. And Alca Alcatara, Alca is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, it's quite, uh, quite pleasant inside. It'll focus, don't know whether it will. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the three pedals. Now, it's down a bit, is that one on the left? Now, again, for you Americans, you're going to struggle here. Um, we've got what you call the ABCs in England, in Britain. Um, you should know the Americans struggle a little bit with. It's... Uh, Accelerator, brake, clutch. <clears throat> and I know you only have GBs. Gas and brake. I don't know where you get gas from. Well, I know you can buy gas. But why do you call it gas? It's not a gas. It's a liquid. Petrol. Petroleum. Anyway. <clears throat> I digress slightly. The... Um, Yeah. Accelerator. Bar. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, back to the clutch. So, yes, I sticks my finger in the end of the hole. I'll show you the end of the hole. Because it's here. So, here we have the new clutch slave cylinder. That screws on the... That's on the end. Is it? No. That's on the other end. That's the only... Yeah, no, that's right. It's on the end. So that's on there with this screwed up to it. Okay. So I looked in the end. I don't know if you can see it, but... It's a bit chewed up. So I swapped that out. Fitted it on. We've now got working clutch. Well, sort of working clutch. It wants bleeding a bit, but other than that... Yeah, quite smart in here. So, yeah... Dog guard, so you can put the back window down, which works. Removable hard top. Now you can't tell at the moment because it's covered in dew. But um, you ladies out there, you, when you get a car like this and it wants a good wash, don't use a Brillo pad or. This has got, this has got, I've never seen as many scratches as, there look, scratches. All along the swage line scratches. Don't know whether it's a, I don't know what's happened here, but I don't think a man would do it. I'm not being, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that anymore. But I've said it. Yeah, very, very scratched, which is a shame, because it's a, a smart looking vehicle. So it might be getting a paint job. I think the wheels are going to go onto Sam's, they're identical, except they're uh, a lower profile tyre so it can make for a bit of safer driving for Sam's. 
and now they're um, beast. So, a little bit of surface rust there where it's had a, a ding. But, I don't know, from 24 on a galloping horse, you wouldn't notice most of this. It looks still quite presentable, not embarrassing. Yeah. Oh yeah, back to X ABC, accelerator brake clutch. ABC. <coughs> now I've got a Cherokee, Jeep Cherokee. Four litre petrol. With LPG on it. Liquid petroleum gas. That's a gas. So if I was to advertise that, isn't it? well I have advertised it, I've sold it three times on eBay. <sighs> Waste of time. Anyway, it's a 4 litre petrol with LPG, liquid petroleum gas. So, petrol and gas. If I was to sell it to an American, I'd have to sell it as a GG, which is a horse. Yeah, gas, gas. That doesn't make any sense. But... So yeah, we got to uh, Abergelly, had a walk around the car, you know, it was cheap, it was cheaper than a weekend for two at uh, Centre Parks, which is neither a park nor in the centre of anything, it's in the centre of a forest, it should be called Forest Park, Forest, Centre Forest, it doesn't have the same ring does it anyway, yeah, it was cheap, <laughs> it was very cheap, so, did the deal, but I had to, wanted to leave the car there because we were going to spend the night in Abergelly. Um, you know, hence the fact I'd put me, uh, me, uh, me, me bed system in the back of Sam's Freelander. So uh, yeah, uh, went into Abergelly, got to there, got there for about uh, ten to three. Walked round. Um, by three o'clock, we were in the, having a pint in a pub, which was. Uh, because everything shut at three for some reason on a Friday. Either that or it just, there was just nothing open. So, so we thought, oh, this would be, this is all right. I have a couple of pints in here. This were at three o'clock and um, we sat down and Tom says, that chap on the next table looks familiar. And it was a guy, it was Les Battersby from uh, Coronation Street. Yeah, Coronation Street. But he wasn't with Janice, who was with his wife or girlfriend or, we were sat having a drink with uh, Willow's Battersby. What confused me a little bit with, with old Les is um, he's called Bruce. That's, that's Australian, isn't it? So we're with a, a Yorkshireman in Wales having met a Scot in Wales, coming from England, having a drink with Les Battersby, whose real name, real name was Bruce. Oh, very confusing. Anyway, we uh, we um, we had a few, couple of drinks, a couple of the old uh, wobble pops, and uh, like I said, we got there about three or something like that, and we were we were back in the Land Rover for eleven. Uh, had a good night's sleep in the Land Rover, woke up bright and early. And uh, when I woke up, my trousers were wet through from the knees down. Well, thighs down, I thought, what the heck's happened here? I wasn't even wearing jams to bed, uh, trousers to bed. So what's happened? Well, my Milo's water bottle had burst. <clears throat> Leaked all over my trousers. But fortunately, and I don't do this very, well, I don't ever do this. I'd taken a pair of shorts with me. Now, if you've ever been to Wales, don't take shorts. Wellies, not shorts. So it all panned out. A pair of shorts. Jumped in the old new acquisition, the beautiful new silver, silver-esque leather-clad Freelander. Brought it all the way back to uh, sunny Nottingley. Well, so I say so it was bagging it down most of the way up. Big crash on the A55 and all. Jaguar. Nice, nice Jaguar. 
done a three point turn via the barrier and was still reversed into the barrier that was a bit alarming because well yeah I think he was alright the car, the cabin looked intact but um, I've got no clutch no pedal <coughs> did I finish that story about the pedal anyway I've got yeah I've got a clutch I have now I did have then so I had to drive all the way from uh, Abergelly in Wales where I met Scott from England Anyway, the Land Rover's here. The clutch is uh, on its way to be working. And it's a vehicle that's going to get developed. So I thought, yeah, I'll just show you show you the, uh, the crack. Not the crack, the vehicle. And um, here's the culprit whose water got me. Thought I'd had a bad night. It wasn't, it wasn't me. Anyway, I'll... Uh, I'll end it there, enough waffling, and I'll see you uh, in the next video. You lot take care. Over and out. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, when we got up in the morning in Abigaili, we, um, we thought, well, we'll have a, we'll go for a breakfast. So, we're in Wales. We went uh, into this little cafe, nice little cafe. Um, it's uh, very clean and spark, looked quite new looking. And we ordered sausage, bacon, beans, egg, fried bread, cup of tea. Which um, we'd call a full English or fullish. What do you call it in Wales? You've got to be careful. You can't say full English. thought it might be a full Welsh, but it's not. It's called a breakfast. Anyway, that's what we had. A full. No, we had a breakfast. Mm. Anyway, over and out this time for good. No, not for good. Till the next one. See you later. Bye.